I'm Dr. Bahare, a specialist neurologist in Emirates Hospital. Today, I want to explain about our new device. It is RTMS Repetitive Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. It can uh, transfer magnetic fields in the brain and promote neurons to fire more actively and together, which induce neuroplasticity and also it can modify brain circuits and neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. It has FDA approved for depression, anxiety, obsessions and uh, smoking cessations and also it's very effective for lots of neurological and psychiatrical disorders like uh, a stroke rehabilitation, uh, motor speech and vision and uh, for Parkinson disease and uh, also for tick disorders, uh, chronic pain and fibromyalgia, autistic spectrum disorders especially for their behavioral issues and uh, addiction. It is painless uh, without any significant side effect uh, except short-lasting mild headache. During the procedure, uh, patients can sit in a comfortable chair. Uh, measurement will be done and after that, uh, the coil is placed on a head associated with the brain map and the patient symptoms. RTMS therapy can be done as a stimulation or inhibition of the brain according to the brain map and the patient symptoms and the patient just feel a tingling uh, and hear a clicking sound during this procedure. Uh, each session is around half an hour. Uh, the total number of sessions uh, will be 20 sessions on average, and uh, it can be done every day or every other day. Uh, patients uh, will experience complete and quick remission, uh, which lasts for a long time. No need for recovery time, they could uh, go to, for daily activities and return to their job and uh, also they can drive afterwards. Who are not eligible for uh, RTMS therapy? The patient with a history of seizure and also the one that has metallic devices in their neck and uh, head like uh, clips and coils, uh, stents, cardiac pacemakers and uh, bullet fragments. Uh, the brand of uh, this device is Magasteam Rapid2 uh, that is uh, from UK and it's very effective and I have been working with this device since uh, 2017 and uh, more than 90% uh, of my patients uh, get uh, benefits from this device but in the articles uh, they mentioned that uh, the efficacy of this device is between uh, 70 to 80%. I hope this device could help patients uh, to improve their quality of life. Thank you so much.